Alright, good morning. Barely feels like I've moved away from here since the weekly one-shot. Good heavens, that was long and that was tough. So, I'm on vacation now, but what better way to start my vacation from streaming than to stream once again. What we're going to do is we're going to have a giveaway. It's been quite a while since I've had one. I think the last time was when I did some more of those word searchy things around Christmas time. Which is far too long, so we're going to make this one fairly meaty. I think we're going to have five, maybe even six races with varying degrees of prizes. We'll keep the first one nice and low investment. I've got a bunch of Steam gift cards that I will whisper to the winners upon completion. Uh, and it's winner takes all. You must be the first marble to arrive at the destination to get the prize. Better to show than to explain, I rather think. So let's go for one straight away. Let's do Cosmic Chaos 2 with viewers. And to join in, you just... Wait, boost is not a real thing, surely. Um, I actually can't remember how you join in. I think you put exclamation mark join or exclamation mark play. Looks like exclamation mark play is what's working for most people, so we'll go with that. And just like that, it is populating with people. The map is getting, uh, the chat is getting spammed to hell and back. But that's the expected outcome here. That's just something we're going to live with. So, um... Ha. <sighs> I do like marbles. I like to watch the marbles. It's a bit more overhead to orchestrate it, but that's just fine. We're going to let it run for another few seconds, and then we'll hit start, and then we'll have a 10 second countdown. And may the best marble roll on. This will be for a 5 euro Steam voucher. You can enter all of them, and if one person wins all of the races, then more power to them. Either they're incredibly lucky, or they managed to cheat their way to success, and I admire both those things. Let's get going. Is that somebody called Face? Three, two, one, and go. So we're starting off with a giant funnel and everybody having to make their way down into it. Looks like they dropped down some wee slopes. And then, oh, Krebzig was number one for a moment, but only a short moment. I think it's hard to judge who's going to be number one going into here, but whoever bashes off of another marble and makes their way down the funnel is in a prime position. Who's that there? Is that uh, Square X or Rest X? It's Rest Exy. A couple of people are uh, coming close to them, but they've got a solid start as they go into the gravity defying loops. I don't know these maps, so I'm going to have to make things up as they go. They're maintaining that lead, so it seems all the other schmucks are just left in the dust. But it looks like there are three marbles giving chase to Rest here. Apparently Bouncy Droid is number two. Maybe t maybe hitting the number keys doesn't do what I think it does. Okay, Rest and Catan both took uh, an edge there pretty badly. And it's up to Angevin12, who got knocked away. Oh, they were doing really well, but now Apple Gable is doing really good as they move into these annoying little nugget pieces that are going to stop their progress. But it looks like Fang X is taking it away. No, D-Day is out there in front. Man, I do not know what pressing number one does. I thought it would take me to the person in front. No, D-Day is taking it slowly but surely, making sure to ball block the marble behind them as they take this round and round, avoiding the pegs, and down in, they're a shoe in to win! Except they have to navigate these little dimples coming out. It's slowing them down. Some other people have much better velocity. Somebody's taking the side road there. We've got Fang X, who decides to take the path of lesser resistance. It's down to them and this other weird marble. Looks like El Coro 6. El Coro has made it out just ahead of Fang, but mashes right into one of those wee niblets, but manages to fix it. And there we go. Oh, no. All right. They take a bit of a beating at the end, but congratulations, El Coro. You came out on top. Sorry, D-Day. It looked so good, didn't it? Until it did not. All right, El Coro, congratulations. Um, how best to do the prize thingy? Hey, I can tab out. The best thing you can do is whisper me. I don't think I have whispers blocked because I've had umpteen people whispering me about Carthage Chaos suggestions. Give me a whisper and uh, the prize shall come straight to you. And uh, if you have failed to pay attention to instructions and fail to whisper me, then too bad someone else will get to race and take your prize. Loads of people coming in. Doesn't look like we have a lot of DNFs here. I'm not sure if anybody DNF'd. 
I think we'd see them drop out below the uh, the racers there if that's the case. Right. Oh, can we use Discord PM as well? Yeah, whatever works, as long as I know it's you. <laughs> and there we go. So it's all official for everyone. The winner is El Coro Six. See El Coro. Try to be more like El Coro. Ah, they are messaging me directly. Good call. So here is your five euro prize. There's a specific place on Steam for punching in voucher keys. It doesn't always work in the uh, the game key thing. So congratulations, El Coro. But that was simply the warm up. I mean, five euros. Come on, can pull that out like snot from the nose. Let's double it up. Let's have a race for a ten euro voucher. Forgive these small pauses as I try to sort out my list of keys and such. Uh, Righto, next track. Show race results? We're looking at the race results. We have people that are green in chat. What does that even mean? Ah, we can see what they've said in chat. <laughs> Look at Seer thinking that 7th place is a real thing to be proud of. Amazing. Got mauled in the middle it seems, says Catan. Yeah, you were front runner for a wee bit. Krebsig asking about the PM. Cool, so it shows things that are chatted. I didn't know that, but now I do. Okay, time for the 10 euro race, making it twice as important as El Coro's paltry win. Where are we going to go to then? I feel like something a bit lengthy. Devil's Chaos 2 apparently is three and a half minutes long on average. Let's have it. See a seer says, I am speedy, I am good and stuff. Okay, so again, hit exclamation mark play to join in, and then you're going to be joining in on the Devil's whatchamacallit, Devil's Chaos even. I'm a bit worried I'm going to run out of Toho jazz music for this, but so be it. So we got a count there? Ah, there's our count. Looks like we're going to break, be breaking 100 marbles uh, for each of the races, or so it seems. Maybe we'll get some DNFs here. I'm interested in do not finishes. Wish it would let me pan the map here. I want to see what the map is. My screen is so dark, I'm just making out shades of red here. Okay. I think that's enough chance for people to join in. Let's start her off. Again, this is a race for 10 euros. Euros meaning that uh, they'll convert over to dollars in Steam and probably be worth a whole lot more than ten dollars. Okay, they're off and they're just falling down a giant pachinko line. I feel like we've seen something like this before. Hopefully it's not just that long straight of getting uh, cannibal. Wow, Worm is taking the lead? Oh, but he got rolled back and uh, kind of crushed a bit. And they have fallen prey to Geth Legion. Geth Legion is making their way around more of these wee tic-tac things. Uh, but they're going round and round and taking too long. We have a DNF! I saw you, Nyx. You fell out. You couldn't handle the pressure. All these people just falling down into the abyss. Nitro, of all people, though, is doing competently. Never would have thought I'd see the day. How do, I, how do I even manage this? It's just like floating around all these people that are dancing around. Alright, looks like Nitro's doing okay, well, so we'll follow him for a bit. He's going up to these weird uh, anime womp things. And a booster that tries to send marbles back. That's cruel. Who's going to be the first to enjoy that? We don't know, because it's all about the winners here. Who is winning? Debs is winning in their own special way. They decided to take the out-of-bounds glitch, and for that, they will be DNFing, as is Soviet. Alright, weapons doing good, going through some kind of clear hyper tube here. And it looks like some boosters to put the hyper in hyper tube. Out they go, get shot into a wall. And whoa, they almost go straight down this hole, as we see Stacy doing a DNF as well, as for Benbo. Okay, looks like it funnels down the sides here. Ah, cool, I can even free camera this one to get a bigger look at the thing. Then we don't get the names in. I want the names in. That looks like Doom June going for it as they go through this rather perilous looking spicy path. We're only one and a half minutes in. This is meant to be three and a half minutes long. We can see the exit down there, or the finish line, but before that they've got to go through the most uninteresting way to design a roller coaster in Roller Coaster Tycoon. They're going down the spiral. Hold on. We have a couple of people that did the uh, the fast track. Kashuli went almost too fast, 
but holy moly, they did something really special there, but not as special as USRB, who bounces right away from the ending. No, Kashuli could be onto something here. They're not too far away from the exit, and unless somebody else bounces in, there goes Geth deciding to go for a DNF. But the drunk Dutchman drunkenly makes his way down to a good position, but Kashuli maintains a decent pace here. Can they thread the needle? They cannot, but they can, but they cannot. But they can. All right, Kashuli has made it. They beat all the competition, and for that, they get first place. They had a lot of people taking rather unorthodox routes, but Kashuli, and Kashuli alone, takes first place as the drunken Dutchman swaggers in, stinking of Geneva and Stroop waffles, cramping Kashuli style because we all know there's only one way to win, and that's to take first place. Not having any of these people, but then again, they don't DNF, so there's Buffalo, Lusumu, who else is coming in? Bukis, Jershin, there's Robocop. Oh, Robocop, don't lose to Nitro, come on, man. There we go, Robocop's in. Nitro didn't uh, DNF, amazing. There goes John, Dicey, look at all these slow-mos. Too much hesitation, right? You need to be more like Kashulu and just take the plunge. And less like the Drunk Dutchman, who is our first loser. The Drunk Dutchman just says, how the hell did I get number two? Oh, well, too bad. No DNF, please, says Applesauce Midget, whose name will be uh, blended into obscurity as one of the many people who make it to the end but do not win. Ah, Turnip made it right to the end only to fall out and DNF. What a shame. In goes Kurperik, a shell in. There's Sea Space. Amazing. Sea Space surviving, not just his first step here. In goes the bandit, but then there's the purge line that kills everybody that doesn't finish before the purge line. There we go. I love the purge line. Alright, good job, Kashuli. How did you celebrate winning? By saying, let's go. <laughs> Such obscenity. Third place by 20 seconds, a disgrace from Buffalo. Fourth twice in a row, says Lukmu. You know, that adds together to make you a, a double loser. Still 80 plus people that lost to me, says Dr. Najitram. Yeah, I finished, says Ruxo. Alright, let's look at the whole of anti-fame, those people that DNF'd. Oh, there's a lot of them. Arkarov was so close to making it, but they did not. First DNF was Zeon, followed by Nyx. Terrible. <laughs> ah, your pleas amuse me greatly. Okay, but the person that truly gets pleased here is Kashuli, who's hopefully sent me a whisper to claim their prize, but they have not thus yet. We've got 10 euros here waiting right for you. You've just got to message me directly, preferably here on Twitch, but on Discord works just the same. I'll make a wee note here. 10 euros reserved for Kashuli. But if Kashuli does not claim it, we'll double down and somebody else will get it. And that somebody will not be the drunk Dutchman. I don't accept second place around here. Oh, looks like Kashuli is coming in saying, Hey man, very well. Enjoy your prize. There we go. Forgive my lack of congratulating you in text. Alright, done and done right. Okay, I'm all about doubling down, so let's double down again. Let's have a $20 race this time, making it four times more important than El Coro's paltry first win. Let's go to the race menu. Uh, what are we feeling here? I have nay clue, but the long ones seem kind of nice, so let's go for the gauntlet too. From 10 euros to 20 dollars? Yep, don't question it. Ah, huh, this start looks very similar to something else that we've seen. Again, it won't let me pan around to see it, but I'm going to assume it's different from the last one. I guess they just used some set pieces to flesh it out. Already 90 people are stuck in there. There's a button here that makes me think I could do a subscriber-only one. Hmm. Hmm, I'm overcome with greed from that idea. But I think I will hold off for now, at least. <clears throat> I'm all about favoritism, but maybe this isn't the place for it. 
All right, you've been given long enough and that music's gotten loud enough, down you go. Uh, let's get going, you got 10 more seconds to hit play, and then we're going for this. $20. Of course, Patreon only mode says JJ Ho Ho. You'd be in with a really good chance of that, I reckon. I think Patreon people are a strange breed of folks that support but don't watch, because I never seem to see them go around. Either that, or they're just, uh, correctly not flamboyant enough to draw attention to themselves. Alright, everybody's closing in on that hole. Oh man, we've got a load of beta orbiters here. Who's going to be the first to take the plunge? Somebody is. Looks like it's De Bruges or Applesauce Midget. Oh man, losing out to Mickey Derp. Mickey Derp is having a hard time navigating this as the balls come and follow him everywhere he goes and he's been overtaken. Electro takes an incredible fast track there and dodges half of it only to ram face first into a wall and be beaten out by Dennis Wolf the traitor who's just spinning around now unable to make much movement here and his team taken over by Vescu82. Vescu82 making their way down getting smacked in by the Tic Tacs. But they're in good company. Everybody's getting slowed down here. At least it's not those annoying blocks. Elko. Heldon! Heldon, buddy! You've made it! Can you get through the hole in time? You can! He goes. Alright, let's see if Heldon's astonishing work in Xenonauts will see him in good experience for this, the marble race. No Xenos to kill here. You've just got to make it to the finish line. Come on, you can see it. It's in smelling distance. Oh, he com oh, he almost completely missed the boost there. But he's got a clean lead on pretty much everyone. Heldon's in an amazing position here. Can he keep it or will he mess it up like he messes up everything? As he makes his way over the nublets, he's keeping a firm pace. And then it's time for the wee tax, but he's going side to side a bit too much. Oh, he got blocked hard as another ball comes in. Rolling, taking the side routes. Oh, but Heldon's experience with it is seeing him through. He's continuing. Oh, getting tic-tacked again. Come on, the exit's right there. Surely you can do it. Like all Lib Dem supporters, Heldon is in constant poverty, so he needs this. Truly needs this. It's 20 bucks is the difference between food on the table and not. But like all other type supporters, he's too weak! Cafe has taken the lead! The lead in failing miserably and being our DNF, putting De Bruges in a good position. Heldon can't take it anymore. He simply accepts suicide like all his fellows. And I can't believe it, Debs takes the win. He made it. He made it first quite comfortably. The slime dragon was slowed down way too much. He couldn't make it. Well done, Debs. 20 whole dollars are your way. You just need to send me the messages. We enjoy all these other balls that are just falling to their slow but inevitable demise here in the endless skybox. <laughs> I see Anjuman there doing their DNF again. Dark Lord Bale is, uh, Bane is down, Saur is down, Kath is down. Wow, the victorious balls are few in number. What a comeback after he failed on the last map, points out Comrade. Quite the comeback indeed. Alright, let's see if Debs has the, uh, the good mind to actually message it. Where the heck's my mouse pointer? Can I see it? There we go. I think I found it again. Seems to just disappear. Okay, I've got it. I'm following it. Alright. I was worried that people might try to make fake accounts to uh, mock their way into winning. Alright, well done, Kshuli. Well done, Alcoro. But where's Debs? Debs does not appear to be messaging me whatsoever. So I guess he simply doesn't want the money. Or maybe they don't have a concept of money over there in Belgium. I don't know. Whatever the case, it is somewhat reserved for uh, for Debs there as we move on to our next race. Now, if you've really been fired up and you think now's your time for victory... Wait, wait, we got XP? God knows what that's all about. Let's see what Debs has to say. How does it feel to lose to a Belgian Heldon? <laughs> that is how you use the chat thing here. Slime Dragon saying, what? I thought I'd DNF anyway, Jack. What is this playlist? It's Toho Jazz. I have it saved on my public drive if you want it. The link for that, I'm sure, is floating around somewhere. Oh, it looks like Debs gave me a private message on the Discord. There you go. 
punch that into the steam thingamajigger that uh, redeems Dosh and you'll get it. Okay, maybe you're all fired up, you think now is my chance. Well, we're going to recede down to just 5 euros now. We need to build it up, because I got a 50 euro card here. And I don't want to blow my load too early here. We're going to build back up to this. As we enjoy the uh, the chatting from Bloodshot, who says, I'll take fourth over, do not finish. At least they've come to terms with their loss. Kitan says, Belgians aren't real. <laughs> Nix is coming in saying, it's Toho Jazz. Try asking him. Oh, okay. Enlightening. How about our DNFs? What do they have to say to cope with their failures? <laughs> Scooty Dooter having an interesting idea on what victory is. Arm is saying last DNF. Woo! Not quite last. Duty beat you to that. Where's Elden? Where's Elden and his amazing DNF? Or did he even see anything? There's Elden! Like all true Lib Dems, the finish is what he gets you! Ah, <laughs> uh, it's not Polcon, unless you take them seriously. Exciting, simply says Mark Usia. Okay, that was all good and well, but it's time for our next race. Where are we gonna go? I don't know. Few will survive. I accidentally clicked on that, but it's very tempting. Okay, apparently few will survive for this one. Best of luck. <laughs> Only best of luck goes to the person that takes first place. All right, let's go. Five euro race, get in there with exclamation mark play, and you'll be in with your shot for this. Think of all those games you can no longer get on sale because Steam Summer Sale is over. <laughs> if you use emotes to join in the race, then you are down and out. Busy game today, says Walrus Custard. Well, doesn't matter. All you have to do is win. It's that simple. All right, plenty of people in. You got ten more seconds to join in. I'm interested by the people who leave it so late. Like, why? Why wait for the final moment to join in? One second, and there you go. You're too late now if you're hitting play. Okay, Trolling Duck uh, came in with an early lead there, but who's going to come out first from this? The the first big funnel tube. They like these, don't they? I find them a bit uninspired. But I guess they do a good job of um, segregating out the balls so they don't turn into a giant mass like this. But I like the giant mass of balls. They kind of smash into each other causing uh, quite a bit of chaos, whereas here it's a bit too unchaotic. All right, who's that coming out in first place? It's Efra Bulbazar, that well-known pillar of the community. They fail to thread the needle, they don't even have to. And they're going around the dimples, an incredibly good strategy to maintain speed. However, somebody else is using that. It's Kashuli back again. They're not satisfied with one win. Ephra's made an incredible journey there down to the sides. Uh, I don't know if that's going to win them this though, because it looks like if you may manage the center here, you're in with a great shot of getting into the exit. Somebody here is trying and trying hard! Have they overshot? Have they undershot? No, they just went way out. I think a lot of people are going to fail to come in here, so we're just going to watch the balls fly. If one of them hits, they win. And somebody did! It was Crowy Fa- well, actually they bounced out. Does that count as victory or failure? I, I don't know. Maybe you just have to get in there to win. Not actually sure on the rules, but it's saying that Crowy Fan won despite that uh, abysmal performance of bouncing right out. Well, it's up to the game's rules to say who wins, but I think it was Crowy Fan for being the first to mash their way into the finish. I guess, you know, in a real race, what matters is you cross the finish line. If you spontaneously combust three feet from the finish line after you've crossed it, you're still the winner. So here's to you, Crowy fan, our shameless combustor. You managed to take it, and now you float through purgatory for all the rest of your existence. Stassi's just saying, I failed again. Yes, yes you have. Do we have the purge line coming in here? No, we just have our winner. Congratulations, Crofian. If you just message me privately, either with a whisper or on the Discord, you shall receive your much coveted prize as we start to think about where we go and we listen to the uh, the chats, moans and groans. Corperk says, didn't manage to push Crow away. No, you did not. Failed again, says Stacy. Uh, Sir Arthur is saying, oh wow, made it. Yep, you made it into the Hall of Losers. At least I managed to finish this time. 
Hey, you get points. Points are meaningless. What a slaughter. Well, it did say few will finish. How about St. Caledon? Ah, they didn't have anything to say. None of these zombies has anything interesting to say. Worm says, get through the goal, you've won, just like in footy. Not bad. How about our early DNFs? Deb says, come on, Jake, the last survivor wins. Flying over the finish first should count as half of a win. Not quite. I was attracted by the possibility of not surviving. I got what I wanted. Nice. How's that for coping DNFs? <laughs> Orlov joins in just to laugh, as all BRs do, they communicate through this primitive form of laughter. Okay, back to the race menu, let's see if we have a message coming in from Crow. We do! Well done, Crow, you have won your prize, it's on its way to you, right now. And I shall strike that off on my list of keys here, that I hope I never leak, because that would be good by a lot of my keys. Okay, that was fun and all, but let's ramp it up once more. Let's have another twenty dollary dues on the line here. That's going to make this four times as valuable as the last race. The question is where we're going to go, though. Hmm. Somebody decided to vote for robotic roadway. Why not? Let's go with that blank six ten. If you manage to win this as well, I'll be very impressed. If you win, specifically you. I'm gonna double your prize. Even though I don't have any- WHAT THE HELL WAS THAT?! Okay, one of the balls seems to have combusted. We were just talking about spontaneous combustion. Okay, everybody's joining in. We've got over 120 people coming in. I'm gonna take a drink. And then we're going to hit play. I love these bottles, by the way. Voss Artisan Water. Of course the Artisan Water is long gone, but the bottles are just so nice looking. It was hell and high water to find them, but good old Win Dixies in Florida held out for me. Okay, over 150, let's get going. And let's me personally hope that Mr. 610 doesn't make it or else I'm double out of pocket for this. Okay, they are off and they're going through the Pachinko Gallery once again. I don't know who's coming out on top out of this. Oh, well, it's Igars who's made it down first, but they've lost a lot of momentum. It looks like everybody loses momentum there. He's picking it up fast, faster than everyone else, but he hits the Y quite badly. Uh, he still maintains a pretty good position here. They're duking it out with Ashelen, but the Gourmet of Gromit has taken an alternate spiraling path through here. Is that enough to take them into first place? Well, they're maintaining it. Up they go through this blaster, right into this weird roulette thing. I think some people managed to go straight through the uh, through the hole there. I think they did. Yeah, they are. You can see Strudel going for it. And right, Arkharov is back, taking a lead position here. They got first place. This isn't a long race. Look at the finish line. Oh, <laughs> oh god, the drunk Dutchman's made it through, but he's hitting into these blocks that stop you dead. You need to have a pretty good way of getting through them, like Strudel does. Strudel, no, Jake Loans is taking it. It's coming down to the final bit here. How does this work? Oh, they just fall off and die, or is this an invisible section? I have no idea. It seems that they're cheating, but if you're gonna cheat, cheat the hardest, like Drunk Dutchman. They're through, and wow, they're going through very well. But, oh, they smash into a block, and they're stuck there for a wee bit, giving other balls a chance to catch up. But if this thing fades away in time, you'll be able to make some headway. These do fade away after a while, but they give other balls a great chance to take lead. Like El Coro, or Scooty Duter, or Walrus Custer, or all these people that are just blitzing through. Walrus, if you can make it through the cubes, which you can, you get number one alone. Congratulations, Mr. Grande and Sar. They come in too to win, but they're just that little bit too slow. Well done, Walrus. You needed a whole lot of luck, or possibly skill, to get through this. Or maybe it was just letting the pawns go first. Let other people eat those blocks, and let the balls come in for victory. How did our beloved 610 man do? I certainly don't see him on the top 10. Certainly not. I think I see the purge line coming along. Man, those little smacker things hurt a lot. They bash somebody straight into Do Not Finishville. 
Yeah, there's the purge line, and once that hits the the goal, that is game set and match. I love the purge line. Does it actually affect this invisible area? No, I guess it does. Blank says, hey Jake, I tried my best. If that was your best, I don't want to see you at your worst. There's a beautiful simplicity for this lovely flat open area. And down comes the purge line. Oh, wait, there's still somebody there. Who is it? Who are they? Doesn't matter, they got purged and Walrus Custard secures the throne. Do we have a wee message coming in from Walrus? I sure don't see one. It looks like Walrus Custard doesn't want their prize. That's really looking down on everybody that did. I'll just make a wee note for Walrus there so that they can come in and get it whenever they want. Okay, next up is the big one. I got 50 fat euros here for whoever wins in the final one. Mm. No, I don't, I don't think that's right just yet. Let's go back to race menu. It's my kind of menu, something that's, uh, well, no, let's not go there. Right, how can we make this work a different way? Let's hit twists and turns. How do I do that thing? I wanted to try out subscriber only for the penultimate one since I do have a spare card here sitting around now. Since uh, that guy didn't win his double or nothing. Okay, Walrus is coming in saying that they humbly accept their prize. Alright, there you go, Walrus. Good job coming out on top. And no, none of these are Patrician 4 keys. All right, do we have a way of doing this? I'm not seeing anything for it. Flinging money around for funsies, says Lona. That's how it works. Put the chat into sub-only mode. What a brilliant idea. Okay. We're going to try this out. However, once we're done with this, uh, Subscriber only mode will end and then everybody's going to be in the running for the 50 euro one. But let's try this out Subscribers only in chat. Whoa, man. I have not touched this button in a very very long time. It's practically all dusty All right, I'm only seeing subs now. So let's give this a go This is purely for subs on a 20 euro race and we'll try it with that uh, Thrills and spills right wherever it was Where was it? I think it was called twists and turns and I don't see it anymore. I don't see a chance to uh, to filter for. Oh, there we go. We're already clicked on it. Okay, twenty euros on the line here, and this should really thin out the herd, meaning that you've got a much bigger chance of winning. <laughs> he says, but in they flood regardless. And Pepperan is pointing out that mods do enjoy special privilege. Yes, if you wanted more of a reason to complete a mod challenge, it's because you can enjoy this. Alright, uh, I need to go and grab some water, I will do exactly that, and then we will hit that play button. Okay, let's smash that start button and go for it. If you're joining in, you've got about a 1 in 50 chance of winning. But you've got a 1 in 1 chance of winning if you're really good. Alright, twist and turns 2, let's go. I guess the funnel is a way to equalize this, because otherwise whoever's in, uh, in this, the front race gets a fairly unfair advantage. Whoa, okay, the truly impoverished Aristo has taken the lead, but can he get down that hole, or is he destined to be an orbiter for life? I don't know, but he's certainly the closest to it, unless somebody else bashes balls together to drop down. 
be really funny if uh, Euristo and Held enough to duke it out. All right, true levelers right there. Can he maintain this lead? He's taken a really good precision path through that. He didn't bump off the sides or anything. Uh, he's hitting the sides here, though. That costs a lot of time, loses momentum. He goes in the wrong direction, but it's worked out for him. He avoided most of the dimples, and he's through. Wow, what an incredible... What an incredible run from Eristo here. If he can make it down the second hole, he'll be doing pretty good. He did, but blame the alien managed to come out ahead of him. Wow. You know, I used to know the name of every subscriber, but uh, looks like those days have passed. Blame the aliens heading their way down. Round and round they go. Can they get through this one fast as well? No, D-Day looks like they plunged their way right through. Robocop, one of our very own sword wielders, has taken the lead themselves. They're going round and down. The exit is within spitting distance. If they can just make it down another one of these... Wow, these it's full of these funnels. But Robocop knows how to deal with that. He's here to enforce. Enforce his victory, it seems. I don't even see any balls on his backside. Can he thread the needle? Oh, he just can't make it. And that means somebody else is taking the lead. It's D-Day. 341. Look, the exit is right there. If he can just make it, it's yours, but that's somebody on his backside. Now blame the alien from the backseat. Who's going to make it in? We've got Delran trying their best as well. But nope. Somebody else made it in. <laughs> Zen Yaba is uh, flexing on everybody. They didn't even want to stay in the finish area. They hopped in. They said that's enough. They didn't want to hang out with all the losers here. Like D-Day, Alien, Backseat, and Pandy. They just jumped out. Well done. Very well done, Zen Yaba. Having nothing to do with the sub-ball class. I really appreciate that. Congratulations, and for that you win. Send me a private message, preferably a whisper, and we'll sort you out your prize. Numidian Merc has decided that they too don't want anything to do with the stench of failure, and is hovering above all other balls. Well done, Zen Yaba. The prize is yours to claim. Assuming that you claim it. True Leveler's in there saying, guess I lost my momentum. Let's have a look say about that. Zen Yaba, they were smacking their mouth off saying, nice. D-Day was saying, first loser again. Backseat says, I'm playing the long game. Well, that long game will work out next. Okay, let's get rid of uh, subscriber only mode because it makes me feel really dirty. That's not what this place is about at all. Rested Pandy is just celebrating finishing, at least. Ninth, says Benbow, 1992. And again, I made 11th. Hmm. How about that, Bane? Alright, what about the words from the loser? Oh, there, were, there weren't any DNFs. How about that? Two seconds in top 10 is an achievement as well, said Art. <laughs> Second to last loser. Good grief. So elitist, my compliments. Well, they won, and that's what gets them the big prize. And they have messaged me to make their claim. Very well, here you go. Do enjoy. Okay, it's time for the big one. 50 European dollars for the winner of our final marble race. You might wonder why I'm doing all this. I feel it's good to give something back. You know, I have feasted well from the buffet table of streaming success. And it's only right to have these kinds of fun things where people can enjoy a race, or a quiz, or a game of chance, or whatever, and actually get something tangible out of it. I mean, uh, I got a lot of enjoyment out of streaming before I tried it myself. I really feel that it's... It helps balance out my moral compass if I actually give something back here. Okay, uh, first we need to choose something, so everybody smashing play right now is not doing themselves any favors. What are we going to do? What's a really long one? Haunted Hills, eh? That sounds quite interesting. Can I get a simulation of it to look at it? This won't allow people to join in. I just want to have a look at it, just in case it's something really awful. We had a really terrible one before, and... Uh, okay, this isn't taking part in it. Uh, it's too dark to really see what's going on here, in my humble opinion. But it does look quite haunted, doesn't it? Yeah, we can see the balls. Alright, we'll give this one a go. Haunted Hills. Let's check it out. Race. Oh man, where was it even? Haunted Hills. 
Okay, let's do this. 50 European dollars on the line for the winner and only the winner. Oh god, look at that dark miasma. Hit exclamation mark play to join in now if you want to live the rest of the day like a Valve King. Did you manage to complete Majora's Mask on time yesterday, says Koja. How about you watch yesterday's VOD and see how that ended? Things got a bit delirious. Seems like this has its own spooky music. Let's crank it up. No more uh, soothing Toho jazz. We just get the sounds of uh, dark miasma here. Okay, you got 10 more seconds to join in, otherwise you're not in with a chance to win. Oh, Prebsic left it late. Five, four, three, you know how to count. Okay, and they're off into the swirling dark abyss, which I assume just works like any other funnel. Man, it's all balls at the end of the day. Number one is apparently Pepperan, I don't believe that for a second. Okay, they're going down through this kind of see-through twirly-whirly. Reminds me of those ice creams, what are they called? Twisters, I think they were. Apparently, you've got first place there, but uh, USRB... What? What is with those letters? We see you a lot, USRB1, but I don't understand the meaning of them. I just see USB myself. Chasing Learland... What? I saw True Leveler enjoy first place for a moment there. What shenanigans is he pulling off now? Okay, out they pop, and now it's clear Liarion has first place. If they can maintain this, 50 European dollars will be theirs. Oh, but they've been overtaken. USRB gives them a gentle wee nudge to enjoy a bit more speed themselves, but they took this a little too straight. Ooh, straight as wet spaghetti. That's USRB. Making these corners nice and slick, not giving any other... Oh god, the tsunami of balls behind them. They cannot afford to lose their momentum here. USRB, Liaron, and Strudel duking it out for the first. They teleport through some disgusting brap gas into here. But USRB maintains pole position as we go over the little, uh, little nubbles there. It doesn't slow him down at all. He's keeping it going, but the tsunami of balls grows ever closer. They're getting fast, and there are a lot of them. Don't get too slowed down. Who the heck is this? Liarion's taking a strange approach. They enjoyed uh, pole position again, but they were too thirsty for it. And for that, they have fallen into the abyss, just like Nyx does. Okay, who's this taking over USRB? It's Strudel. Strudel is greedy for that dosh. They're really hungry for the dosh. And they are staying glued to USRB's ball at the front so that they can <laughs> just... Stop USRB from picking up any extra speed and channel it into themselves as much as they can. But USRB's having none of that. They've taken first position back for themselves. Who's this? We've got the Thomelen... Well, we've got somebody weird there coming in themselves. Some other people claiming to be first place, but I'm not buying it. No, this is Strudel Town. Oh no, Strudel's been knocked out by a couple other marbles as we get through here. It's long, it's winding, but we're not done yet. I think we're about to enter the Haunted Mansion. Okay, we get filtered down here. USRB still doing... We've never had somebody maintain the lead for so long. Can they get... Okay, yeah, they got through the window into the mansion itself. But Thaumi is coming up front themselves. This is weird. This feels like the marbles could be rolling anywhere and, anywhere and everywhere. Okay, right, they've got a relatively comfortable uh, lead. And then the marbles are flying now. Okay. Smashing themselves off the door there. That can't be good for them. Don't know why it's claiming these other guys have first position. They most assuredly do not. Where'd all our other balls go to? I don't know, but for some reason it's saying that these guys are in first place. And now I can't see Jack. Alright, Thaumi, despite all the weird floating about, is maintaining first position. And I don't see USRB anymore. What happened to them? Just rolling around the floor here. Where are they meant to be going? I don't know. Okay, it seems like it's some kind of very low gravity uh, route down the stairs here. It's a bit kafuddling. I agree. 
But we must be coming up to time, so almost four minutes deep here. But it's Thommy who appears to be keeping up first place there. And there's the finish line right there. If they can just get in. And they've made it. Well done. Lonator has managed. And the tsunami of balls that follows. That was very good. Uh, maintaining of lead position there. US Army did as well, but what happened to them? I think we're going to have to find out on the list there. Well, Thalmy, all you have to do is send me that message and claim your 50 European dollars. If you don't, then it's going to have to go to somebody else. I'm sure they wouldn't want the burden of taking somebody else's prize. Yeah, that was quite haunted. I really liked everything until we got inside the mansion. Then things got a little too spooky for me. Alright, where is our... Uh, where is our Thalmy? I don't see them. They need to message me to claim their prize. Ah, there we go. It might be a weird name, they say, but it was lucky enough. Well, let's make sure that you get your prize. Punch this into Steam, and out it will dispense 50 European dollars. Should stop saying that. They're Euros. The joke got old when it even started. Okay, let's check those results. What happened to USRB? They ended up in 13th. At least they weren't shooting their mouth. That would look really bad for them. Thalmy didn't need to shoot their mouth either. They just sat back and won. Ah, second. So close. Don't worry, you made it to being the first loser, Hack Flea. Lizard's coming in saying, close, but disappointing. Yes, you are. Lusumo says, yet another fourth place. Shmuel, I was number one for a millisecond. Ah, not the millisecond that matters, though. Happy with sixth is Simixia, which sounds like a Nyx alt. Dark Lord Bane says, yeah, I made top ten. And True Leveler is saying, that's quite some haunted house ride. It's all my experience as a marble streamer. Actually, I'm, the reason I'm doing this is because True Leveler was streaming marbles. I saw it and I thought, that's very good. Like everything good I've ever done, I'm going to copy somebody else. M44 saying, no, my Patty 4. Nobody has complained about these all being Patrician 4 codes, so, so far so good. At least not publicly. They've been silenced ahead of time. Strudel's just saying, got lost in the kitchen. Better than expected, says Bunkus. Your expectations are disturbingly low. Orlov's probably just laughing at themselves now. Congratulations for the winner. Oh, how, how nice. Man, having Leveler place above me is just shameful, says Dark Young, who's very intimately acquainted with shame after last night. Mecker's just saying, f f way too few DNF. Axel's saying, this was a very low danger map. Hey, I got useless points. Yeah, I don't know what the points are all about. Uh, we did have DNFs, though. Let's have a word from the l Super Loser Club. Sar just says, no. Krebby is saying, at least I ain't Dutch. Yeah, at least there's that. Mark is saying, kept my streak of DNF going. Backseat saying, mmm, my long game was a little too long. <laughs> Nix is saying, way too few. I definitely found a way to DNF. Comrade just says, ah, nuts. Off another death. Okay, that concludes the marbles. We've given away well over a hundred bucks of this. But congratulations to the winner. Don't spend it responsibly. Waste it however you want. It is your prize to enjoy as you want. I really like the marbles for the giveaways. Uh, I think I'm going to stop doing complete random giveaways where I just chuck the code in first come first serve. From now on when we do giveaways it's either going to be one of my asinine puzzles or some marbles because I really enjoy watching this. Regardless, like all great things, this must come to an end, but it is, from its death, will spread the life of a new source of enjoyment. JJ Hoho has taken it upon themselves to attempt one of our mod games. Apparently they are poised and ready to go. They haven't reaffirmed that lately, but I'm just going to go to their channel and double check. They're just saying, oh Christ, yes sir, still here, glad to hear it. What we're going to do is seamlessly transition into JJ Ho Ho's moderation at oh god they got an anime profile picture I'm immediately rethinking this oh well whatever congratulations to our winners commiserations to all the losers and there were a lot of bloody losers and now we're going to enjoy making our way over to JJ Ho Ho to watch this mod game attempt I'll be up it'll be up to them to explain why they're doing it and what they're doing it for take it away JJ